Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Colors of Mathematics. In this video, we will be solving this particular percentage problem. So let's read it out. It says that a number is increased by 25% and then decreased by 25%. Find the net increase or decrease. Now, you, I know you will just simply uh, jump to the answer that it's 0%, but it's not. Let's see how it's not 0%. Okay, now a number, the number is not known to us. So can we suppose the number to be 100? Let the number be 100. Let the number be 100. That means we are assuming that the number is in 100. Now increase of 25%. How do you increase something by 25%? An increase of 25% means that on every 100, on every 100, there is an increase of 25. Now, if the number is 100 only, then the increase should be 25. Because we have to increase it by 25%. So, the increase should be equal to 25. So, what will be the new number? The new number will be 100 plus 25. That is 125. Now, they are saying, and then decrease it by 25%. Now, first, we are increasing by 25%. Then whatever number we are getting, we are decreasing it by 25%. So now we will decrease this number by 25%. So now how to decrease 125 by 25%? First, we'll have to find out the decrease. How much is the decrease? How we will find it out? 25% of 125. That would be equal to 25 over 100 into 125. So we can multiply 25 and 125. So we get 3125 divided by 100, which can be written as 31.25. So this is the decrease. So we have to decrease the number 125 by 31.25. So let's do that. So now the new number would be 125 minus 31.25. So how much will be? That would be 93.75. Now we have to figure out the net increase or decrease. So let's first understand the meaning of net increase or decrease. So we started with the number 100 and it became 93.75. First tell me, is it a decrease or an increase yes it is a decrease the number is decreasing by how much the number is decreasing by 6.25 which we can achieve by subtracting 93.75 from 100 so it is 6.25 so we can see we are the how much is the percentage decrease. We can directly say that it is 6.25 because we started with the number 100 only. So percentage decrease is always on 100. So we can directly say it is 6.25 percent. Otherwise, if it is still not clear, you can do 6.25 is the decrease over 100 into 100 percent. So that would be 6.25% again. So I hope it is clear. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.